Joining me now is the founder and CEO of Bloomberg New Energy Finance. He's from the UK, his name is Michael Leibrick, and he is going to talk to us about all the latest energy trends globally. Michael, good afternoon, thanks for joining us. In your keynote speech yesterday, you mentioned that you were last in South Africa five years ago. What have you, how much progress have you noted in our country since then? Also, in, in my own sector, which is the clean energy sector, of course, the big development has been these uh, auctions for the renewable energy because uh, you go back to um, uh, 2011 when I was here and the level of investment was very modest across Africa and the Middle East. And now suddenly it's become really quite a substantial market for lots of our clients and you know, there's a, a lot more renewable energy being fed onto the grid, two gigawatts already here in South Africa. So things have really started to happen. Now, one of your fields of expertise is, of course, alternative energy sources, and you were talking yesterday about how cheap these alternative energy sources are, but are they not costly to set up to begin with? Well, so the funny thing is when I was preparing my keynote, I went back to the transcript of what I spoke about in Johannesburg five years ago, and I said, it's really cheap. Renewable energy is getting really cheap. Wind is six cents and solar is 17 cents. 17 cents is not a lot. Well, now the cheapest wind project in the world is producing power for, these are US cents, I'm afraid I can't do the conversions, three cents for wind and actually three cents for solar as well. So I mean, it, it, this is what's happened in the last five years. The problem is of course that they're intermittent. The wind doesn't always blow, the sun doesn't shine at night, so you have to, you have to work pretty hard to integrate it into your grid. But you know, when you're buying power so cheaply, it's almost like that gives you the budget then to, to, to deal with it. You have to do better weather forecasting, you have to have a, a good control room in order to, to bring in that renewable energy when it's available and to fire up the alternatives when it, when it isn't. Uh, you have to integrate perhaps with some of your regional neighbors, you'll need transmission lines and so on, and, um, and, and that's how you're gonna do it. But, so it is possible to do. In Europe, we're doing lots of it. Michael, give us an example of a country in Africa that's made great strides in alternative energy. Well, so South Africa, um, with its renewable energy purchase program, uh, has made great strides. So there's something like, uh, there's, um, uh, there's two gigawatts already um, uh, integrated into the grid, and there's about six more already uh, contracted and, and coming. Uh, but also Morocco. Morocco um, has got uh, a lot of solar, it's got very low cost wind, and um, they, so they, they have a forecast, not a forecast, they have a target uh, to go to 52% renewable energy by 2030, 52% renewable electricity. Um, very big numbers, they're moving very, very fast. They're also, of course, the host of the next uh, international COP meeting, you know, the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change, the meeting in Paris last year, the follow-up will be in Marrakesh in Morocco. So they're really under the gun, they have to produce this stuff, they have to get, but they're really responding amazingly uh, aggressively and, and, and rolling this stuff out. Thank you so much, Michael, for sharing your knowledge with us. And I know you're on your way back to London any right. moment. That's right. Straight after this, I have to head to the airport. Well, thank you so much for staying to chat to us, Michael. That was Michael Liebrecht, the founder and CEO of Bloomberg New Energy Finance in the UK.